final piece of information that I want to point out on your tube label is the AP or CL symbol. You'll find that right on the back of the tube. You'll also see it'll say ACMI. That's the Arts and Creative Materials Institute, and they will do independent testing and then award that label of AP, approved product, or CL, cautionary label. Let's talk about that first. If it has a CL symbol, it'll say something else, a caution to you, like do not spray apply. So if you had something like a cadmium or a cobalt heavy metal, you wouldn't want to put that into an airbrush gun and spray that and have a fine mist that you could breathe in. So that would be your caution. An approved product means that it's safe to use if used in the manner for which it's intended. And in our cases here, that's for fine art usage. In other words, the paint isn't meant to be used as a body paint or anything like that. And the other thing that happens is we get a lot of people who call into our tech helpline and they'll ask about toxicity of products. And I, I've always liked to consult our regulatory affairs team on things like this because of course I'm not a toxicologist, I'm an artist. And one thing that they'll talk about is dosage. So for instance, my doctor might prescribe a medication for me in a certain dosage and it's perfectly safe for me and my fully developed system. That same dosage, that adult dosage, prescribed to a young child or a baby could have terrible effects because their, their developing systems can't handle that dosage. So a, a lot of toxicity, toxicity has to do with dosage and it also has to do with your own sensitivities to a product. So all this is to say, if you have any doubts whatsoever, if you have any concerns, you can go to our website. When you click on a product, you will find a link to the materials and safety data sheet. And you can share that with your doctor or your allergist, and then they can better inform you and you can feel comfortable about the products that you're using.